Hi gang, we're back here again, uh, Tilting a Windmills uh, YouTube channel, and today, today I want to talk about another issue that, uh, you know, having to do with land. Uh, the last program I put together had explaining about the uh, the process that developers and, and homeowners like yourself go through in order to get permission from the the county, in this case Nye County, Nevada, and the town of Pahrump, where this program is being filled to develop out their property. Uh, it, it can be as far as little as uh, adding a, a garage or um, you know having a daycare center on your property or what have you. But the, there's a process, as I explained in the last program, that everybody goes through in order to get approval from the government in order to do this. And uh, on December the 10th, in the night, in the, in the, the May, actually the main newspaper for our area here, the Prump Valley Time, uh, <laughs> this is an ongoing saga, and I thought this 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 uh, story needed some YouTube attention. Uh, and and I'll give you a little background note uh, before I go into showing this picture here. There was a piece of property that was developed into a golf golf course here in in the town of Prum, uh, and it was uh, <laughs> it's the Willow Creek Golf Course property. And what happened is they built this golf course, and they had all these lots for sale. And uh, I believe at the at the time that the problems I'm going to cover here happened, there was about 200 homeowners that uh, had homes around this golf course. And what happened was a the utility company, Utilities Incorporated, uh, had holding ponds. They had um, uh, for. Uh, treated sewer water to go into these ponds and then somehow these ponds cause the sewer to turn into good water and I think the good water is called a affluent water and in fact if the water is treated properly they actually use this treated sewer water to to spray out onto the golf course and water the grass and everything and you'd think well this is yucky well you know I think it's yucky too I'm not I, I don't really want to go out someplace where there's been uh, somebody's uh, toilet was flushed uh, last week and now it's what the contents of it has been treated and spread out and I'm walking across it barefoot or whatever but anyway maybe maybe it is safe maybe it isn't safe but this particular affluent ponds at this golf course had become neglected and it got in it got into a major major he said she said they did it he did it you know, on and on and on between the developer of the golf course, the county of Nye County, the town of Pahrump, and the homeowners. And these homeowners were uh, livid, uh, you know, because what happened, here's the first sign that they had, you know, they're coming out in the morning to go to work and they go, what's that smell I'm smelling, Martha? <laughs> I'm just paraphrasing this right here. And she goes, I don't know, it smells like sewer or something. And so what had happened was that these ponds, these holding ponds, started failing, and that's I guess what they were doing. People started smelling this because why? Because it was untreated fecal water, and fecal I won't tell you, you know, on YouTube here, but fecal is uh, is body waste that people were smelling from these ponds. Now, what I'm telling you didn't happen yesterday. It didn't happen last year. It didn't happen five years ago. This has been a saga that's going all the way back. And in fact, the homeowners in the area there filed a lawsuit against the property developers. I guess they probably included everybody because they said, our lifestyle is ruined. This is a mess down here. Nothing's being done about it. Well, if, if you go back a few years, uh, 2008, I believe when, the, when this uh, lawsuit was filed, a recession had hit, and this developer that was developed this golf course and selling these properties and and everything was hit just like a lot of a lot of industries were. They had no moolah, no money, and they had the holding ponds that needed uh, repaired were put on the back burner. Uh, probably trimming the bushes were put on the back burner, and they were just uh, uh, in a bad shape financially. But they had obligated themselves to, the, to Nye County and these people that they had living around this golf course to, to maintain a certain standard of, uh, of uh, safety and you know, health and, uh, and sanitation. Well, they started pointing the, favor, the finger at Utility Incorporated saying, 
it's Utility Incorporated's fault. Utility Incorporated said, no, it's up to the property owner to keep this uh, the sewage treatment center. Uh, uh, these two, these treatment ponds uh, up to up up to snuff. And then they get back and forth, back and forth. Everybody arguing. The county gets involved, and w eventually, what happens is this: um, this developer files for bankruptcy. And uh, as the story unfolds about this particular person, it gets uglier and uglier and uglier. And the courts are involved, and uh, he's ordered by the courts to go clean up your your ponds down there and make this situation fine. It got all the way to a point where they actually, the judge found him, one of the judges, I don't know how many were involved in it, in contempt of court, and they tossed this multi-millionaire developer, well he was probably not a multi-millionaire anymore, but he started that way, in, in the slammer. He was in jail for I believe 20 days for contempt of court. But you know, the old adage that you can't get blood out of a turnip came into play. Okay? And he didn't do it. He didn't have no money to do it or whatever. So the um, it's in bankruptcy, and now the everybody's looking at utilities incorporated. The utility company. What are you going to do about these ponds? And they I, they had, I guess had tried suing him for for compliance of their agreement with him to keep the ponds up, and he didn't. So anyway, they ended up. I believe the figure that utility incorporated says is that they're out 1.3 million dollars because of the this guy's non-compliance on this golf course. The homeowners, I'm telling you, it, it gets back into a it's similar cases I've talked about in another show. If you've got a $500,000 house and now you've got sewer that you can smell down the street, your house isn't worth $500,000. In fact, you're going to be lucky to sell this. Well, you may be able to sell this some, to somebody that has some type of disease where they can't smell anymore or something. But no, most people are not going to, uh, you, you know, most people, you know, the, if you think about it, that buy around the golf course are pretty well to do or, and they're a little bit older uh, in, in many cases. And there's other golf courses that they can go buy property on if they want to live in a golf community. And they're not going to buy one where the sewer's uh, overflowing holding ponds or they're all stagnant down there and there's mosquitoes and, you know, God, God knows what uh, health hazards down there, and so your property becomes uh, virtually worthless, and, and this is what happens to these people. And uh, I, I, I suppose a person could say, "Well, it's the old adage, a buyer beware." But how many people know that this is going to happen? The economy is going to turn like it like it did. But anyway, accidents happen, bankruptcies happen, and here we are, years down the road. Now. In the bankruptcy, the county became involved in it, and they had our former, well, he's going to be the former district attorney, Brian Kunze. He lost his election, uh, and there will be a new one in the first of the year. But he was the one that was negotiating on the county's part because the county felt that they had, uh, you know, they wanted in on the action. I'm, I'm not sure what all the details of those lawsuits are involved. But anyway, it got down to where there was, I believe, 15 parcels of land that had been um, that had been given over to the utility company in in a settlement agreement, or it, actually there was proposed settlement agreements back and forth settlement agreements. In fact, all the way up until this last summer, settlement agreements. You know, we're going to this, we're going to that, and what was going to happen was that uh, it got to where the county was going to have six piece parcels of land as part of their agreement to give utilities incorporated some consideration of, of of rehabilitating this property and they were going to have the other I guess that would be nine parcels and the negotiations broke down and the reason I'm putting this program together I started to say is here we are with an article here's a picture of this cesspool stuff you know I mean uh, the condition of the product this is the cesspool you, you can kind of see it back there but in a sense what's happened was this golf course has returned to a desert-like condition because we do live in the desert here, and, uh, and 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 it's a mess. And well, well, what Utility Incorporated has done is they came before the the uh, the planning department. Uh, you know, I mentioned this last time, and let's show I had 
but uh, we have the planning department here, we have the water district department, we have the commissioner, and Utilities Incorporated uh, is still in a, in, a, in a match with the county because there's hard feelings going on right now between people in the planning department, I suppose, and people in the, in, in the county government and the company itself, Utilities Incorporated, because of this contentious battle that they were fought. In. And it got so bad that eventually what happened was that the bankruptcy judge basically disallowed Nye County from even getting their parcels of land. Uh, basically said that, you know, I guess they told the county, uh, Brian Kunze and the county commissioners that, well, you don't qualify, you know, we're, we're just not going to give you this land right now. Uh, I've asked you to comply with certain things and you haven't, but actually it was on both sides. Uh, people weren't complying with good faith uh, negotiations and what have you. Well, there's a lot of money involved and everything, but I don't really care about what um, Nye County's problem is, the government's problem is, because we can take care of that at the ballot box. You know, this could be one of the reasons that Brian Kunze lost his election, is he had hundreds of people down in this part where this uh, golf course was that are pretty upset with the way he handled the negotiations of the county part. So he's gone. We got a new, uh, a new county uh, district attorney coming in. Here's what I'm concerned about, and here's what I fight for all the time uh, on my w tilting a windmill uh, blog is I'm worried about the citizens out here, the Willow Creek uh, citizens. Uh, the commissioner from that area is uh, Butch Porowski, and I know Butch is very concerned about this. Uh, he's on the commission. You know, I mean, it's his neighbors that are, in a sense, in his district that are having, you know, having this uh, this plight. And I, br I brought this program forward because, as you can see, there's still arguments going on. I mean, can you imagine this? Uh, I believe this started back in 2006. Uh, I suppose that it was before that that these uh, treat treatment ponds were failing. This is 2014, almost 2015. And these people, this right here, folks, is what the hell happens, excuse my French there, uh, uh, to this beautiful golf course that had been down there. And this is the way it still looks. This is what this Willow Golf Course, Willow Creek Golf Course, Willow Creek, I'll call it Willow Sewer Pond uh, Golf Course, looks like. Right now, it's, it's screwed up. And there's been proposals about uh, turning it into a park-like uh, situation and you know letting the residents of the town have another park and and, and it, 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 it's it, it's a mess you know and this is not right now the county had to have been uh, responsible for the, for some of this people when I get when I have a complaint I'm going to tell you what I'm not calling up utilities incorporated I'm calling the county commissioners up or the planning department or somebody or somebody what is going on? Why do I have an open sewer uh, situation going on across the street from me? So they've been aware about the, of this for years now. And all of this fighting has to come to an end. Uh, right now, here, here's what it's boiled down to. Um, <laughs> the people from Utilities Incorporated claim that they were told by the now county uh, planner, the head planner down there, Daryl Lacey, that they did not have to get a conditional use permit in order to start bringing in, I guess, equipment and stuff and start working on the cleanup. And they, they're claiming this. They claim they have the correspondence uh, to that effect. And now the, the, uh, the planning director evidently has told them, well, no, you do, you know, I, I changed my mind or something's goofed up here, but you got to get this conditional permit. So they were appealing the county's decision. That's what it says right here. Appealing the county's decision uh, for uh, the, the pond, on pond project. Now, this is absolutely ridiculous. Um, I, and this was on uh, d yesterday, uh, December the 10th agenda for the planning department. This was coming before them, the appeal. And I was down there. I don't live anywhere near Willow Creek um, uh, golf course area, but I'm as a concerned citizen. It's like, <laughs> come on, you know. It's like, are we going to get continue in this back and forth childish matches where you got to fill out this paperwork and you don't have this permit or whatever? Because this is a multi-million dollar corporation, this Utilities Incorporated. Uh, 
I think it should be assumed that they have uh, general contractors that they work with that are that are licensed and bonded that know what they're going to be doing that they have this well thought out and just for a piece you know arguing over a piece of paper uh, you know a, a permit and um, you know, let, let, you know let, let me read you a little bit. Of this. It says, Utilities Incorporated of Central Nevada is appealing the Nye County decision to require a conditional use permit to do improvements to the ponds at the Old Willow Creek Golf Course. The appeal will be heard by the Prompt Regional Planning Commission meeting at 6 p.m. Um, and that was today, yesterday. Um, Nye County Planning Director Darrell Lacey issued a final decision November the 21st, stating the company must obtain a conditional use permit for the improvement work. Uh, Utilities Incorporated proposes to build a new five-acre treatment pond while they remediate an old contaminated pond treated, treating recycled effluent water from their sewer plant. In this master plan for the property, the company also plans to rehabilitate uh, pump stations and clean up the property, including the removal of 143 dead trees. I can imagine the trees all died. There's no water getting to or anything. Uh, replace pipelines and uh, and U UIC and United, uh, you know, Utilities Incorporated acquired 15 of the 16 parcels to the former golf course to recover legal fees in a bankruptcy by for former owner Caldera P and G in the summer of 2013. Um, and then it says, uh, President Wendy Barnett claims she was told in September of 2013. Now remember, this is December, um, today is December the 11th, 2014, so we're talking 14 months ago, that she was told by the county the site didn't need a conditional use permit for the work. Um, uh, any new buildings, ponds, or structures require a conditional use permit, Lacey said. The company can repair an existing pond if they are not in, uh, expanding it. Now, not, here's Butch's now here. Nye County Commissioner Butch Baraski took offense to the uh, Barnett's published uh, comments last month that the county was holding up plans to remediate the pond. He says, I've offered several times to directly and indirectly to Wendy and to Utilities Incorporated to offer any assistance uh, to it is solely in my district. Anyway, here's my message to Nye County Commissioners. Here's my message to Utilities Incorporated. Here's my message to the to the Planning Department. Clean up Willow Creek Golf Course property now. And that's it, folks. Till next time.